Hello, today we are going to present you the latest function added into one of Radiolink bestseller, 189S, which has been frequently asked by racing drone pilots. Voila is the compatibility of Blackship TBS Crossfire Transmitter. As you all know that transmitter from Radiolink are not open sourced, but today we have upgraded the firmware and software of 189S. It is now compatible with TBS Crossfire Transmitter. We named the upgraded 189S as Pro version. Okay, so now let me show you how to connect 89S Pros to TBS Crossfire Transmitter. The latest firmware version 2.0.0 should be upgraded. You can go to the parameter menu to double confirm. If it is not, please visit Radiolink official website to download. Then you can check the signal output options in the system menu right here out rotate the dial to select crsf other output options are also available like sbus ppm pwm to ensure the successful connection with tbs crossfire transmitter output crsf output is the must when the selection is done power off your 189s pro Connect the power port of TBS Crossfire Transmitter. Then the white end of the wire to the port of on right. It's very simple, like this. Insert the round end of the wire to the simulator port of 89S Pro. As I don't have a supporting structure, so let's hold the TBS Crossfire Transmitter like this. Power on the 89S Pro, we can see the Crossfire Transmitter is power supplied. Toggle the throttle down here as there's message popping out to remind on the screen. Then the receiver we have here as example is TBS Crossfire Nano Receiver. Power on the receiver. As I've done the binding when I first unpacked it, you can see both indicators on the crossfire transmitter and receiver are green. And you can also find the signal tower with CRSF on the screen on the IT9S Pro. Now I'll do the binding again to show you. Long press the home button of Crossfire Transmitter to enter the menu. You can find the word bind on the third line. Press the button once and the green LED on it starts flashing. Now let's power on the receiver and press the small button on the side of it. The green LED starts flashing as well. Then when the LED turns red or orange, the binding is under process. When, the, when both LED turn green and are always on, meaning the binding is complete. Press the button to enter the menu. You can find the receiver that we just done, binding is listed on it. We can select and enter, then set up the preferred signal output, SBUS, PPM, or PWM. It depends on the flight controller you are using. Like other radio link transmitter and receiver, you can find all flight data returned on receive menu by pressing end button twice. So this is how we connect the Blackship TBS Crossfire Transmitter to 89S Pro from Radiolink. Hope you enjoy the fun.